Hi Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. So let's start from the spirit animal as normally as this is my drill. Uh, dragon. Okay, some big insights also. So a couple things. Someone really is observing you, watching you uh, from a far distance. Also, I feel this is a very spiritual card. So you could actually watching yourself, your actions, your behavior, your reaction, um, how you deal with people, you analyzing your life, you are looking what you have done in the last year, what you are about to do, what is your future plans. It's a very strong, I would say, spiritual card. So some of you really are maybe engaging in some spiritual um, coaching, um, mentor being mentored coached um so it's a very very uh profound insights you know the card that really uh, says look you know inside yourself um so very deep observations uh who you are um also you know like i say you know you could be actually uh quite quite uh, I don't know I'm getting you know this message that someone is watching you um so you know the look into this you know card and really I think it says quite a lot right so let's have a look as well what it could mean who's watching you what you are doing with that spirituality that maybe it's upon you um so deep observations deep insights deep intuitive uh, week I feel for you past nine of swords yeah definitely you know I would say those observations are very much you know what have you done in terms of you know your progress your relationship maybe it has been some sort of you know uh, problems in the past and you have suffered and you are acknowledging this your present moment is nine of swords Nine of Swords really for me speaks about finding that inner sparkle, that, you know, belief in you. Um, you see this wand, the, the girl that is holding is kind of, you know, giving this fire. I feel that you're finding that stimulus and insights um, from you, within you, this dragon, right? The dragon, I think also it's, it's, it speaks about a, a strength, a courage, um, believe, you know, you can do things much better, um, in a better way for, you know, understanding the consequences of your actions. And I think you are just, uh, drawing the line. I will do everything that makes my life better. Your future is the hangman. Okay, the future obviously is speaking for me about indecision. The hangman speaks like you are in between two worlds. I think you are doing a lot of contem contemplation, observation, analysis, you know, where to go, what to do. If it comes to work, are you considering of changing the work? Um, if it is a relationship, you are definitely thinking, is it time for me, you know, to move on? uh is this relationship is bringing me some sort of you know peace can i feel the peace i think it's sort of you are um in two minds right the hanged man and the uh, future advice believe yourself believe that you can attract anything you want uh some of you aquarius um has a lot of promised luck and like i said um i think in my previous um videos that we are stepping into aquarius age all right Astrologi astrologically speaking once the pluto moves to aquarius which will happen in 2024 we officially really starting this time so before that hand i think there is a lot of work still to do but the spirit is saying you are moving towards you know the happiness the success the dream life this, the sun, is a really a dream life and uh, Spirit is saying that's where you should be focusing your energy, that's where you should be going, um, right? So I think it's a very deep, insightful uh, week spiritually. Let's have a look uh, in the clarifiers. 
so the past has been clarified with eight of wands um i feel that this nine of swords with eight of wands um a combination of your uh very quick rapid uh, action or um let's say a communication that actually let you uh, down did upset you um you know made you think really um that you have made maybe a wrong move because you uh, act too quickly but this is your past right now in the present we have the seven of pentacles uh, pentacles are coming quite a lot so i think it's about um you analyzing yourself in the process where you're putting yourself when you're coming to an idea or you let's say go into a relationship or whatever the relationship business personal it's about the progress you know um it's about not just a, a result of happy relationship it's never gonna be the case i think you know the first year we always are in this euphoria we are very joyous but you know life is if you want to build a long-term happy relationship it's about polishing yourself adjusting to each other it's process right it's a work and i think the seven of pentacles is really talking about the process um uh and the patience you know seven of wands that that drive that you have that keenness that eager uh, that hope for for better things it's not the final result it's the process you know that you are going through it's understanding that life it's it's very short but you deciding how you're going to enjoy you know this this journey the hangman has been clarified the king of pentacles your future is very you know promising um you will be sitting as as this very confident uh, king with everything what you need you have a companion a dog or it's a wolf how it look um companion who's going to be you know sitting next to you for through your journey walking uh, together aligned you know one to one um so i think if you have been thinking about your life journey i think the hangman for me speaks and obviously the king of pentacles speaks about being in the process of making a decision where you are heading uh, next right new job how does it look will i be happy what what the future i have in this organization if it is you know the relationship you want you know a happy relationship it means being in relationship as two equals at peace with no you know arguments what do i need to do in terms you know to achieve that if you're not in relationship and that has been on your mind it means maybe as well observing your relationship patterns i haven't pulled one clarifier for the sun for the spirit advice so let me do this right now okay ten of swords ten of swords for me speaks obviously about the pain that you have experienced in the past um and the spirit is saying you know of course the pain the happiness the joy all those little elements in our life it's forming us it's shaping who we are the same with this advice enjoy the process being shaped the way you are um and enjoy you know the the journey because this journey is you know equally as we experiencing the various different things in our lives ultimately it's taking to something better and that is the spirit you know message it is taking you to the happiness the happiness that you want to create to yourself so it's a very uh, profound week for you, uh, Aquarius. Some of you are celebrating birthdays. So my best wishes to you all. A uh, happy birthday. And uh, I wish you, yeah, that enjoying, enjoying, you know, this experience. Enjoy your journey. Be happy. Um, yeah, all the best for you guys. I'll see you next week. Take care.